This is Twit. This week, I don't know if you've heard, we haven't talked about it on the show, but um, some of you may have heard HBO encountered a huge hack around 1.5 terabytes of data was snagged in the process. And now much of that, as you would expect, is appearing online. Uh, what is the result of this, Sam? And no spoilers, obviously, because it involves Game of Thrones. <laughs> <laughs> well, the thing that was not quite confirmed until this, until yesterday, because there was information about a leak and about a lot of data, but it's confirmed that HBO has had a, an episode of Game of Thrones leak before it aired. Uh, and, you know, at first it was a script and then it was, you know, the video of, of, of the... Yeah, I don't... So I am not a giant Game of Thrones fan. Therefore, <laughs> I have not watched it because... I don't want to be that jerk who's not, you know, it's bad enough when you go to a party these days and say, I'm not that into Game of Thrones. But if you double down and be like, not only do I not care about it, I'm going to ruin it for you. Yeah, you don't get invited <laughs> to parties. But there is definitely enough there where if you want to jump ahead to find out more uh, in a world in which we no longer have George R.R. R. Martin laying it out for you, it is out there. And what's interesting is HBO changed all of its pre-release uh, distribution of episodes because of leaks in prior seasons. Huh. Uh, HBO really clamped down. It is impossible to get a review copy of an episode of Game of Thrones. And in fact, many of the other series like Westworld, um, normally you'd be able to go to their screening room and watch stuff in advance and it would have like a watermark of your name on the screen. And they're they're convinced that even that's not good enough for Game of Thrones in terms of locking that down and making sure everyone has to watch day of. So oh. once again, HBO fail, HBO InfoSec fail. Well, what's in what's interesting is that the hack is unrelated to the episode leak, and that you know the 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 fact that the episode leaked from a distribution partner, not from the infrastructure hack that happened earlier this week, is just is just like double whammy for them. Like they had the problem with the leak where the script leaked through that, but the actual video came through distribution channels. So it's just like they just can't get a break. <laughs> right, right. So, yeah, yeah, which, well, that's which, what happens which, when you. That's what happens when you have to uh, do all this green screenery in different studios yep. in different uh, countries trying to reduce the cost. I mean, this is the cost of doing business in a global market where something like an internet leak, uh, you know, the weakest chain in that global distribution network is going to be really happy to take, you know, either that bit of internet points or even a little bit of cash uh, in order to dump that sort of information out there for everyone. Especially, yeah, the, the, oh, sorry. Go. The, the leak, the leak came from their distribution partner, Star India, and apparently the 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 Star India logo is watermarked on the video. So if you're watching the leaked episode and you see the Star India logo on it, that's where the source came from. So. Uh, yeah, I mean, it, it also shows kind of the, the complexity, and this is by no means a, a recent problem. This has been a problem for quite a few years now, just around the fact that, I mean, these studios, like when you're talking 1.5 terabytes of data, and if you can assume that much of that is video content, I mean, that's that's an insane amount. That's a huge library of potentially unreleased content. But, in, you know, in the in the days before the internet, it would be stacks of DVDs or videotapes or whatever. And it would be a lot, I would imagine, it would be a lot harder to have that much impact on someone stealing some content. In this case, it's like, here, have everything because we had it all in a folder and it's really easy to transfer 1.5 terabytes, terabytes of data and basically you know, uh, be in possession of all of your future releases. Uh, well, there's two ways to look at that, which is that first off, that 1.5 terabytes, that's got to be a dream for FARC or Reddit or any of these forums where people take like dissected bits of content and Photoshop it or yeah. green screen it and turn it into some other crazy thing. Uh, but that 1.5 terabytes of data, you only need about 50K of data in order to really cause chaos because there is a lot of private contact information and executive information that is part of this leak. And that's that little bit of 50, 100K is going to possibly do a lot more damage than a single episode leak. That, that's the thing about that giant haystack of data is that those needles are the ones that prick the most. Yeah. yeah, I mean, we're, we're still seeing the results of the Sony hack from however long ago that was. You know, like yeah, all like the bits of information ago. that came out from that. Yeah, that, so it's crazy. 